In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as devotees of the Sacred Heart on this first Friday of the year, let us humbly acknowledge our sinfulness and implore God's forgiveness and guidance. You who alone love us with an everlasting love, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You who make the sun shine on bad and good people alike, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You who alone show the depths of your love in deeds and in truth by dying for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Let us bow our head. In silence, we tell God our own petitions. <clears throat> Cast your kind delight upon your faithful Lord, we pray, and with the splendor of your glory, set their hearts ever aflame, that they may never cease to acknowledge their Savior and may truly hold fast to Him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Unlike Cain, who belonged to the evil one and slaughtered his brother. Why did he slaughter him? Because his own works were evil and those of his brother righteous. Do not be amazed then, brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that the murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us. So we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means sees a brother in need, and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him. In, one, in whatever our hearts condemn, for God is greater then our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people. The flock He tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Enter His gates with thanksgiving. His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him. Bless His name. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please all stand. Be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip. And she has said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathaniel and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law. And also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathaniel answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sa ating first reading, ay nabanggit ang pangalang Cain. Cain. Saan ba sumikat si Cain? Siya lang naman ang pumatay sa kanyang kaisa isang kapatid na si Abel. Kaya nga maliwanag ang sabi sa atin ni San Juan sa ating unang pagbasa, huwag nating tutularan si Cain. Pero yun nga lang ba talaga ang kasalanan niya? Hindi nga kaya ang kasalanan ito ay resulta lamang ng nauna ng pagkakasala o kakulangan niya. Kasi nakapagtataka naman na nakabud na niya lang papatayin ang kapatid niya mayroong dahilan. Kung titingnan po ninyo, kung babasahin niyo ang Genesis 4, pareho naman yung dalawa eh. Pareho ng mga magulang, si Eva at si Adan. Parehong may opportunity na mag-alay sa Diyos. Parehong may contact, may access sa Diyos. Yun nga lamang, nang mag-alay na sila, doon na natapos ang pagkakapareho nila. At doon na rin nagsimula ang kanilang pagkakaiba. And this led upang mas kalugdan ng Diyos ang alay ni Abel and therefore upang si Abel ay patayin ni Cain. But first, let us be clear. 
This has nothing to do with the offering. Walang kinalaman dito ang alay ha, sapagat may mga nagsasabi, mas kinulagdan ng Diyos ang alay ni Abel sapagat ito ay hayop, may dugo, blood offering. Samantalang ang alay ni Cain ay vegetable offering, bloodless offering. Walang kinalaman niyon sapagkat natural lang naman na ang alay ng dalawa ay yung may kinalaman sa trabaho nila, sa kinabubuhay nila. Remember that Abel was a sheep keeper and Cain was a farmer. Yun lang yun. At kung pagbabatayin po natin ang sequence sa Genesis 4 verses 4 and 5, mapapansin po ninyo eh, ang pagkakasunod ay ganito eh. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. While the Lord did not look with favor on Cain and his offering. Ang punto nun ay ganito. The Lord first looked with favor on Abel. That is why He looked with favor on His offering. On the other hand, the Lord did not look with favor on Cain. Therefore, He did not look with favor on on Cain's offering. So, walang kinalaman yung alay. Ang may kinalaman ay yung nag-aalay, yung disposition, yung ugali, yung motivasyon, yung attitude nung taong nag-aalay. Because remember that the Lord looks into our hearts. Hindi siya sa external lang. Natatandaan po ninyo yung sabi rin ng ating Panginoon. Kaya po pwedeng ikonekta dito eh. Kung mag-aalay ka at naisip mo may sama ng loob sa iyo, ang kapatid mo, iwan mo muna yung alay mo. Hindi magiging kalugod-lugod yung alay mo dahil may galit sa puso mo o may galit sa puso ng kapwa mo dahil sa iyo. Makipag-ayos ka muna sa kanya and then go back. Offer your offering. Dahil yun ang tunay na pag-aalay sa Diyos. Eh. Hindi lang yung nasa labas natin, kundi yung nasa sa loob natin. And therefore, buong buhay natin at yun ang pagkakaiba ni Abel at ni Cain. Si Abel, inoffer niya ang buong buo, ang lahat-lahat sa Diyos. Ang sabi nga, Abel offered one of the best firstlings of his flock. While Cain offered just an offering, just an offering from the fruit of the soil. Kumbaga, makapag-offer lang. Kaya nga, mapapansin po ninyo sa Genesis 4 verse 7, ay sasabihin ng Diyos kay Cain, if you or if you act rightly, you will be accepted. May kulang. May hindi tama. May pagtitipid. May ugali. Itong si Cain. Ang problema, imbis na aminin niya, i-address niya, gawa niya ng paraan, ipinaling niya ang sisi sa kanyang kapatid na si Abel na wala namang ginagawa, kundi ang i-offer lang ang best niyang maiaalay. Kaya ito pinatay. Ay, Lagi nating sinasabi, kapag inggit, pikit. Okay lang yan. Pero saan habang nakapikit tayo, isip din. Isipin din natin. Bakit yung kinaingkit na natin ay mas talagang mataas ang antas kaya sa atin? Baka naman they are really doing their best. At tayo ay petex lang ng petex. Baka kaya nasa asawa mo ang mas or greater na amor ng mga anak mo ay eh dahil mas may panahon siya para sa kanila. Hindi mo mapwedeng gawin yun. Baka kaya parang lumalabas na paborito yung kapatid mo ay eh dahil mas nagpapakatino ito, mas nag-aaral ito ng mabuti, mas may disiplina, mas may kusa, mas tumutulong, mas expressive sa mga magulang ninyo. Hmm, hindi mo ba kayang gawin yun? Baka kaya siya ang mas pinagtitiwalaan ng boss ninyo ay dahil mas may kusa siya, mas responsable siya at ginagawa niya yung task niya kahit wala ang boss ninyo. Hindi mo ba pwedeng gawin yon? Baka kaya siya ang mas napupuri, lumalabas na mas magaling ay eh kasi nagpa-practice talaga siya. Nagsisikap talaga siya. Nagtitake note siya kung ano ang kulang o mali sa kanya para ma-improve niya. Hindi mo ba pwedeng gawin yon? Bakit kailangan nating hatakin ang mga deserve na nasa itaas kung pwede naman natin silang samahan sa itaas? Bakit natin sila hatakin pababa? Eh yun ang mas lalo sa ating makapagpapababa. Minsan nga daw ay mayroong isang alitap-tap ang masayang gumagala sa kagubatan habang kumukuti-kutita pang kanyang liwanag. Kanyang samapansin siya ng tambay na ahas. Noong una, tinitingnan lang siya kung saan siya magpunta Hanggang sa sinusundan na siya, noong una, tamang masid lang, hanggang sa maging agresibo na 
lumalapit na talaga sa kanya. Kinabahan na yung alitap-tap. Talagang binilisan na niya ang paglipad niya. Pero mabilis din ang tambay na haas sa pagsunod sa kanya. Noong una, nakakaabante pa siya hanggang sa ang alitap-tap ay mapagod na at bumagsak sa tapat mismo ng naglalaway dumitilang as. Pero bago siya tuluyang makain ng as, nagmakaawa muna siyang makapag-anong sa as. Ang sabi ng as, hindi ko normal na binibigay ang pabor na ganito. Pero sige, bago man lang kita kanin, pagbibigyan kita, anong tanong mo? At ang sabi ng helpless of our fly, am I in your food chain? Pagkain mo ba talaga ako? No. Sabi nung ahas. Are you hungry? No. Sabi nung ahas. Not really. Then why do you want to eat me? And the snake answered clearly, Because I cannot stand to see you shine. So ganun lang. Ingkit lang. Kaya sa mga kinaiingkitan dyan, relax lang. Especially if you're doing your best, competing not with others, but with yourselves, striving always to become better than yesterday and the next days, nothing is wrong with you. Ang may mali yung mga naiinggit sa inyo. Especially if they cannot stand your light because they are in darkness. Dahil hindi nila pinagliliwanag ang sarili nilang liwanag. Dahil sa katamaran kapabayaan nila. Kaya pilit nila kayong binababa nila lait para mapababa rin at madamay sa kalalagayan nila. Nagahanap lang ng damay yung mga yan. Huwag nyo silang hahayaan. Huwag nyo silang papatulan. Sabi nga, huwag kayong bababa sa level nila. Sa halip, mas pagbutihin nyo pa. Mas palawigin nyo pa ang distansya nyo sa kanila. Mas palakihin nyo pa ang agwa ninyo sa kalalagayan nila. By continue doing your best. And that is the best revenge against them. Yung mas lalo pa nating pagbutihin kung ano yung kinaiinggitan nila sa atin. Pero mag-ingat ka rin kapatid sapagat batay sa nangyari kay Abel sa Ebanghelyo natin at sa alitap-tap sa kwento natin, mapapatunayang ang inggit ay hindi lang nakamamatay. Ito rin ay pupwedeng pumatay. Kaya ingat sa mga naglipa ng kain at ahas sa buhay natin. After all, ang envy ay hindi maisasama sa seven deadly sins for nothing. Lalo pat ito ang isang pinakadahilan kung bakit si Lucifer, si Satanas, na dati napakagandang anghel, ay naging fallen angel. Kaya ingat din. Now, kung ikaw naman itong namamatay sa inggit, I tell you, napakababa ng kalalagayan mo. Una, bakit mo ikukumpara ang iyong sarili sa iba? E iba nga eh, magkaiba kayo ng kinaingitan mo. Lalo pat, hindi mo naman pala ginagawa ang best mo. Di ba't ang sinasabi nating remedy para sa inggit ay yung maniwala tayo sa katotohanan kung meron ang iba na wala tayo, meron din tayo na wala ang iba. E papaanong gagana yung remedy na yan, yung gamot sa inggit na yan? Kung yung meron tayo ay hindi na nga natin nakikita, hindi pa natin hinohon, ina-appreciate, dinidevelop talaga. Eh, maiinggit ka nga. Mamamatay ka nga sa inggit pag ganyan. Lahat tayo ay anak ng kaliwanagan. Lahat tayo ay may angking liwanag na po pwedeng magliwanag. Ngayon, kung hindi natin yan paliliwanagin, syempre, mas titinggan ang liwanag ng iba kaya sa atin hanggang sa sila'y maging masakit na nga sa ating paningin. Dahil wala tayong liwanag, nasasanay na tayo sa dilim. Huwag naman sana. Let us therefore recognize our own light and strive to shine, not to outshine others, but to shine with them who are also giving and doing their best. Huwag po tayong maghatakan pababa, maghatakan tayo pataas, papunta sa Diyos at hindi papunta pababa kay Satanas. Sa kaliwanagan, hindi sa kadiliman. Marami na pong nasirang buhay, pamilya, oportunidad, relasyon dahil sa inggit na yan. 
Huwag na po nating dagdagan dahil hindi at never nating ikasisiyayan. Ito po sana ang hiling nating biyaya sa ating banal na pagdiriwang. Ilagay natin ang ating kanang kamay sa tapat ng ating puso. Awitin natin, alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Makapangyarihan siya. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Walang imposible sa Diyos. Kung ako'y magtatapat, sa kanya'y maglilingkod. Sa kanya'y maglilingkod. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. May magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang samo ko. Alam kong di sapagkat mahal na di rin Diyos ang samo ko. Alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang samo ko. Alam kong Kung ako'y magtatapat, kung ako'y magtatapat, sa kanya'y maglilingkod, sa kanya'y maglilingkod, alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang samo ko. Di rin kinang Diyos ang samo ko. Bigit natin ang ating mga mata. Panginoon, tulungan mo po ako na may alay ang buong buhay ko sa iyo. Hindi kita tipirin hindi lang sa pag-aalay ng madirila bagay, kundi sa pag-aalay ng aking buhay. Tumalikod na wa ako, tuluyan sa mga kasalanan ko. Huwag na wang kalahati lang, one-fourth, one-eighth lang ang ipikay kong pagpapako. Tulungan mo po ako sapagkat matagal ko na rin itong gusto. Pakialis mo po ang takot ko, Panginoon, ang pangamba ko. Masyado na akong nasanay sa dating pag-uugali, sa dating mga attitude, sa dating mga style ng buhay ko sa dating mga relasyon na hindi na nakatutulong. Tulungan mo po ako na para sa iyo ito'y makalimutan, mataligtan. Hallelujah! Purihin ng Diyos. Hallelujah! Pasalamatan sa iyo. Siya ay muling babalik sa atin. Hindi niya tayo iiwan. Hindi niya tayo pababayaan. Paniwalaan niya. Hallelujah! Purihin ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Sa takdang panahon ay pabalik ang Panginoon upang tayo ay kunin. Tapat siya sa kanyang mga pangakos. Sabihin mo sa rin, mayroong magandang mangyayari sa Higit pa sa inaasahan mo kapag inuna mo ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Kung lalapit ka kay Jesus, maring matagal at maring mahirap pero magiging maayos din ang lahat. Mayroong magandang mangyayari sa iyo. Kung lalapit kay Jesus, kung lalapit kay Jesus, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and never shall be world without end. Amen. Offer Tori. Oh, God. 
Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for your good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. From the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible in its own divine nature, He has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please need. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those for whom we will now pray. Let us bow our head and in silence we pray for our departed loved ones. And all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Lazarus, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with all the blessed apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to become co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say. Amen. 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 
salamit ka sa mahinangalan mo mapasa Ito sa lupa para ng salangin. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para na pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kami ipahintulot sa tukso at ihadya Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grace the grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Alalahanin, alalahanin o mahal na birhen ng lasalit, ina ng pag-asa, ikaw ang nagpaalala sa aming magbalik loob sa Ama. Ito ang nagpapatunay na ang kagandahang loob mo'y nanatiling busilak sa pag-aaruga mo sa amin tungkulin mo'y tinupad. Sa paanan ni Kristo'y itinuring mo kami mga tunay mong anak. Kaya ninais mong ni Isay huwag mapahamak. Maging sa iyong walang tigil na pananalangin, pati luhay pumatak. Huwag namang mawala ng saysay ang iyong paghihirap. Hiling nawa namin sa iyo o amin inang liyag na matapos ang pakikabaka namin sa mundong ito at sa pananatili naming tapat kay Kristo. Sa kapurihan mo'y makibahagi kaming ganap upang kung nasaan ka ngayon ay maparoon din kaming lahat. At ang kaganapan ng kaluwalatian ng Diyos Amay, tuluyang matupad, siya nawa. Mahal na pira ng lasal at agapagkasundo ng mga makasalanan. Ipanalangin mong walang patid kaming mga dumudulog sa iyo. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtulong sa mga nagbibigay through our Chikashin Pank account, lalo na yung mga galing pa sa ibang bansa. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagtulong niyo po sa parokyang ito. Salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless you and our families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Sarap mabuhay Kung may nagmamahal Pagmamahal na tunay At laging dalisay Ang bilhin kong umibig Ay walang sintamis Pagsintang sa dalimi Sa'yo hanggang langit O Birhen Birhen Mahal Sa awit At sa dasal Amin Iniaan Ang pag-ibig na walang kapag